is it right to celebrate with other religions as they celebrate with us during Christian times like Christmas? If they are your friends, you have to. If you don't celebrate with them, then you don't, you don't honor them. Uh, in the Bible, there, there are situations like that when uh, they were asking the disciples, Paul and the first disciples in the Bible, they were saying, he was, they were, the answer was that, yeah, because everybody was practicing idolatry at that time, idolatry, and they only said, okay, you, you know what, you can celebrate, but don't eat uh, the meat or, that is sacrificed to idols. Now, but in other cases, it says, if you can actually even eat those meat that are sacrificed to idols, if there will be no bread brothers there that are uh, uh, that it will become a stumbling block to. So if it's going to be a stumbling block to your brethren, to other people, then don't eat it. But if it's not going to be, if there are no brothers and no Christians there or other people there that it could be a stumbling block to, if people understand, then you can actually eat it. Just you know, just to be able to support people. So Christians, Christianity is not as um, legalistic and as one-sided as it's, it's been presented sometimes to us. You know, God and, Christ, and, and uh, fathers of faith have been very, very flexible. They talk and make Christianity to just be a matter of your personal work with God, your uh, relationship, personal relationship with Him, your passion and love for Him, rather than the practices. Actions could be different. Different things mm. happen in life, but it must not affect your relationship with God. That relationship, what is sacred, not really the actions. Actions are different. Actions could be different, but uh, you know that love affair with God is what really matters. Mm.